All right, Robin. He scored a sweet victory out here. First victory of 2022 for Rebel Rock. Topsy turvy strategy up there. It seemed very wild all over the place, especially the second half of the race. How was your Camaro today, man? Well, the Camaro was great. The Camaro is always good around here. You know, we've had success here with this car in the past, and you know, it's. I think it's definitely a car to beat on this circuit. It's pretty kind on its tires and it's good in these fast corners it, do, it doesn't mind a bit of undulation and some bumps so mm -hmm. it just rides all these undulations really well but uh the the car was great and the team did a great job we were it was huge carve ups with the restarts and battling three abreast cars bumping and boring each other and you know we just wanted to get out of that a little bit to, if we could so we pitted a little early with took the left side tires put fuel in the car and then we knew we could run to the end and as it cycled through and we got that final yellow it really helped us so obviously you know we had a car that we could then still get to the front with and fortunately had better tires on than the guys ahead of us so we were able to make positions uh, from what you could tell how long were their tires really keeping their good on them out there well the michelins are great i have to say i mean we love driving on these tires in this series they're, they're really good but like everything else, they fall off after a while. And, um, you know, you're just managing the grip and you're managing the balance of what you've got in the car. So, but you don't have that luxury when you're in a situation where you're battling nose to tail and wheel to wheel with people. You're just fighting at that point for survival. It's quite difficult at that point. Oh yeah. You had to run down Kyle Marcelli, who's that no easy, no easy dude to pass out there to get this victory. Uh, what what did you see that you were able to use to your advantage out there from Marcel? Well, I was slowly closing on him and Andrew, my good friend Andrew Davis was in the Porsche. It was a lap down between us and I was just hoping he was going to get out of my way really and let me have a go at him and he finally did but it, it was not in before time because I was sort of thinking the clock's ticking away here and I couldn't get a good run on Andrew to get by him on the front straight so it was going to be very difficult to pass him anywhere else. And uh, in any case, yeah, we managed to get on the back of Kyle and then I just realized I had a bit more grip in the car. So I was able to uh, carry a bit more speed through the first corner and get alongside him. All right, man. Thank you. Jared Haas with FrenchStretch.com. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check one of those two videos out that we have right beside you. Visit FrenchStretch.com for more great content.